Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I am going to talk about the best books to prepare for CSIR UGC NET life science exam. So, if you are a CSIR NET aspirant and you want to know which books are the best regarding all the 13 different units of CSIR NET exam, then this video is just for you. Watch the video from start to the end because not only I am going to tell you the name of the best books, best peer reviewed books for CSIR NET exam in life sciences, but I will also provide you links to the description of this video so that you can check them out and you can buy those books online. So stay tuned and watch it. So what are the best books for CSR net life science preparation with the link? So you'll find the link of the books attached in the description box uh, of this video as well as I'll be explaining it uh, where to buy and mostly the links are from Amazon. Dot com. So let's uh, let's continue. The best CSI net books. To understand that, we need to know the different topics of CSI net, and we know that there are thirteen different units con consisting of thirteen different topics. So unit one is molecules and their interaction relevant to biology, which is known as biochemistry. Unit two, cell biology. Unit three, molecular biology. Unit four, cell communication and cell signaling. Cancer biology, immunology. Unit 5 Developmental Biology, Unit 6 Plant uh, Physiology, Unit 7 Animal System Physiology, particularly Human Physiology, Unit 8 Inheritance Biology or Genetics, Unit 9 Diversity of Life Forms that is Classification Zoology, Unit 10 Ecological Principles, so Ecology, Unit 11 Evolution and Behavioral Science, Unit 12 Applied Biology and Unit 13 Methods in Biology. So I am going to give you name of two or three important books and which are good and well made peer reviewed books that you always must read to enhance your knowledge of all these 13 units okay now it's your choice this book selected is based on my preference only so i like to read from these books that's why i'm going to list them if you want to choose one out of two or three it's fine but one at least uh, don't rely on other books but these are the greatest books ever so let's continue the unit one the best book here is one is the leninger principle of biochemistry uh, Nelson and Cox and then so this is the book uh, Leninger principle of biochemistry you can get any any edition you want if you click this link it will open up directly uh, principle of biochemistry by white white and Pratt this is another book which is really really important really really good particularly for the protein chemistry this book it's very very good okay so these are the two books that you can always count on uh, now, apart from that, the second unit, the unit two, you can go with the molecular biology of the cell. This is Bruce Albert's book. And I love this book. Actually, the moment I saw this book in my life for the first time, I, I really, really loved it very much because of the, the great illustrations that is present in this book. Okay. So always stick to that. Other than that, you can also go with Harvey Lodish. And that is also molecular cell biology. The price is little on the higher side here, but yes. If you want to buy something, you can buy any one of these. Both of them are equally good, but my preference is always Bruce Albers. Unit 3 for molecular biology, you can go with uh, the molecular biology uh, of the gene. Two different parts, part 1 and part 2 all together. You'll get a hardcover, which is 9000 and a paperback, which is 4000. Okay, you can get it quite easily. Okay, so and the second one is again Lodish, the book by Lodish that we just talked about which will also help you for the molecular biology part. Even Leninger uh, can help you in the molecular biology part. Let's move to the unit four. And in unit four, we have microbiology sections and we also need immunology. So we have a microbiology book, two different books listed, microbiology by Prescott and microbiology by Pelczar. If you have less amount of time and you just need to revise, then Pelczar is a good book. It's a short note kind of book, which is not broad uh, and in detail also, but it's a very good one for the MSc entrance examinations. For CSI and NET, if you want to prepare more, if you're a microbiology student, if you want to prepare microbiology in depth, then go with the microbiology by Prescott, this one. Okay, there are different uh, options available. You can get any of these options you want. And the immunology is always by Kubi. We always focus on immunology by Kubi, but again, as I told every single time that immunology, if you read it from Kubi, it will take a long time, but yes, it definitely worth it because it illustrates this very, very beautifully. So that's unit four. Let's move to unit five. And there's only one book that we always talk about in unit five that is in development biology by Scott F. Gilbert. So Gilbert's development biology. Okay, nothing else is needed, nothing else is required. In unit six, the best book I found in plant physiology is Plant Physiology by Ziegler and Theas. So that's the book, Ziegler and Theas, and that's the book you can go with Z and T, 
Uh, this is uh, the greatest plant physiology book ever. Apart from that, I also put another book that is Plant Physiology, Plant Biology by Stern. This is also good, but again, TNZ, that is the greatest book ever. So this single book will suffice your process or your idea of preparation. Unit 7 or Human Physiology, go with Principles of Anatomy and Physiology by Tortora. Okay, this is the book because you know, Gaito and Ganong, those books are there, but I don't think that this is enough or required for a CSA net perspective because those books are very detailed and for MBBS they are good for human physiology, MSc they, those are good but not for a single topic chapter preparation for CSA net you can go with Totara this particular book and a smaller site if you don't want to read that much which I always say students that because it's a less economic unit unit 7 you can go with human, human physiology instant uh, notes okay by Daniel McLaughlin. Okay, so that this is a book that you can always David White, Stanford. So this book you can always go with. This is a good one with instant note series. I generally don't recommend instant note series, but this one you can go with for unit seven. Okay, let's move to unit eight, which is genetics. And uh, boy, what we say about gene nine by Benjamin Lewin. I recall remembering and reading from this book. Uh, the biggest TRP for this book is that well illustrated pictures even if you read from the pictures and the legend of the figures that will prepare your concept of all the detailed molecular mechanisms this is the greatest book you can go with the molecular biology of the gene by Watson to understand the molecular genetics aspect and molecular genetics part uh, you can get both one and two with hardcover the price is 9000 with paperback the price is less so obviously go for less price that is paperback and one more uh, book either you take th th like this particular book between gene 9 and molecular biology of the gene by Watson molecular genetics is well explained but if you want to read from Mendelian and non Mendelian genetics which is equally important you need to read from iGenetics by Russell this book okay this book is needed for Mendelian and non Mendelian inheritance on the other hand we have concepts of genetics by Clark so Clark and Cummings concepts of genetics this is really really important Clark and Cummings book and the, the reason I, I picked this book is that this book has an approach of problem solving type so problem solving approach which will help you to build the concepts so clearly so that you can answer most of these application based questions because we know that in genetics 99% of the questions are application based questions so that's why I select this book so kind of one book between the first two and then the next two all these three books are equally important for unit 9 you can simply go with classification in animals this particular book uh, this is good enough uh, for you to understand all the different animal classification and which is particularly good enough for unit 9 and for cladogram analysis you can go for any good uh, zoology book or my youtube lectures for unit 10 we have basic ecology which is fundamentals of ecology by odom this book again a peer reviewed book a great book Although the price is on the very higher side, you can get the lower price in the back edition versions later on. Although this edition is July 2004, but still it's an important version and it's a huge amount. You can get the uh, Asian versions or Indian versions uh, of this book, which will be less costly. Okay. And uh, theories and applications of ecology is another book. Uh, so both of these books are needed. Not 100% of all the books are needed. You need some portion from the basics ecology some portion from the application by Peter Stilling and combining together you can get a good amount of knowledge which will be enough for you to even apply for earth science uh, examinations. Now let's move to in unit 11 and we go for evolution by Strickberger. This is a single hands down book. There is no doubt about the credibility of this book. This is so good that you can always trust on it. Apart from that, if you don't want to read evolution in that details and if you find foreign author books little complicated in, in, in terms of vocabulary and all, you can go with Bala Rastogi's book of organic evolution. This is also a very, very good, well edited, well written book. So you can always go for that. Okay. So any one of this, it will work for you. Unit 12, we go with principles and techniques of biochemistry and molecular biology by Wilson and Walker. And uh, in this case, actually in Unitaid, you have plant breeding, you have plant tissue culture, you have uh, genetic, uh, uh, what we can say, uh, the different way of genetic editing and mechanisms, plant biotechnology portions. So these gene therapies are there. So all these things are there, which is not, which cannot be found in one single book. This particular book can give you uh, techniques regarding biochemistry and molecular biology, but beyond that, you need many more things to understand. So particularly for unit 12 and 13, I always recommend students to uh, 
uh, go for internet resources search from the internet resources get with the video lectures in the youtube and other resources like nptel or mit open courseware or uc berkeley courseware which will immensely help you in less amount of time it will help you to prepare yourselves but if you want to uh, get a list of books for unit 13 then i'll say the genome 3 by ta brown and uh, industrial microbiology by casida so genome 3 by ta brown this particular book is really good for recombinant dna technology and understanding of recombinant dna technology for industrial biotechnology uh, and fermentation technology you can go with this one industrial microbiology book by casida you can go with the principles of gene manipulation by richard twyman and prime rose this particular book is very very good for a practical perspective it's really really good book so you can always go for that you can get a paperback edition uh, which is 1600 rupees price and this one is obviously uh, you know uh, cheaper and rest uh, you can prepare from the internet resources so these are all the 13 unit books remember i have listed all the books i'll show i'll provide you this link in the description box so that you can click this link and directly be redirected to the uh, to the website where you can buy and place an order for these books if you can get it from libraries you can do that you can get the indian versions do that in any ways but prepare from these books because you have one year one and a half years of preparation always go with the peer reviewed books because nothing can build your knowledge better than reading these books okay you cannot bypass that we have our own book but still i always tell people to go with these books so that's all about csi net best books and the best books for preparing csi net examinations in life sciences so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more and more videos like that in future and hopefully you have all your doubts cleared regarding the best books to prepare for CSI Net Life Sciences. Thank you. Bye.